what makes your ultimate bug eye sprite. You know, this is an amazing array of different flavors. This week, we're sort of showcasing three radically different bug eye sprites, and they are all spectacular. And they're not all for the same person. I don't know if you're watching this and saying, oh, no, 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 that's not for me. But this one, wow, what a cool expression. This was built by a fellow out in California to have this sort of old hot roddy kind of feeling. It's still a 948 engine, but it has a Jetson supercharger. I'll show you that. And it's ready now. It's going to Montana to a new home. So I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the car and what we did to it. Just as an example of what's possible here in our building. This one has a hard tonneau that we made. Uh, we will hopefully have more of those soon. It's fiberglass and then it also has this head fairing that we made and We also stitched the cover. There's even a short tonneau that just covers the cockpit which we made and that's kind of cool We put this Momo wheel on which I felt really fits the personality of the car and then the fellow Jim who built this car kind of way loaded up the car with gauges and stopwatches and vacuum gauge and there's a exhaust temperature gauge here lots of cool stuff and it still has this four speed simple basic bug eye quality but it's amped up quite a bit and customized a color mini light wheels color matched just a lot of cool stuff and great body lines here's another really interesting thing this is the normal windshield support holes filled with this little custom plate for a bullet mirror and a really nice racing extended mirror which is a nice feature so that it just looks cool uh, same with the brooklyn screens so up front we have these sebring lights and then you have tri bar headlights as well a lot of the stuff we sell in our catalog but that is just again what makes our life so interesting here is that no two of these cars are the same. Here's one that's unlike any other and a beautiful, stunning car ready to go to a new home. I'll show you the engine bay. And up front here on Liberty, you'll see we put in an aluminum radiator, but it has most notably this fantastic period Judson supercharger. I have to say they're not my favorite in terms of drivability. They don't seem to add a lot of power, and this is a Holley carburetor that can be a little bit finicky, but we got this one running quite well, and it's a really sweet car. The whole execution of everything, again, it just, I think it really has that look of it being sometime in the 70s when this was all more recent and perhaps state of the art at the time. That's the feel anyway. Of course, it's somewhat subjective, but the, the car is very well modified and up to a point, you know, it's every modern car is faster. So it's sort of like an interesting pursuit of modifications that have a period flavor, but don't necessarily have you win any speed awards. And we tried to make it more reliable with an alternator and a few other upgrades, electronic ignition, but it's just a very, very wonderful and fun to drive car. It makes a nice noise and we're delighted to ha have had a chance to upgrade it and then send it to a new home. One other big upgrade we, we did to this one is we put rear disc brakes. You should be able to see, yeah, there's the caliper right there and a rotor hiding behind the wheel. So it's not that the braking is so essential in terms of the upgrade, it's more that the reliability and drivability is exceptional um, and the the durability. Of course, every time you step on these rear brakes, they're exactly the same from the first time we install them until, you know, 10 years from now. And with a drum brake that needs adjustment and maintenance and can get soiled from leaking fluid and whatnot, um, the disc brake is a superior choice for its consistency. And that's why we've added it here. So that's our tour of this particular this particular quote unquote racer here at Bug Eye Guy. Hey there from Bug Eye Guy. I just want to continue this theme of how each one of our cars has been so unique and so different from the one before it. So we have this car candy that's about to leave and head to a new home in the Baltimore area for Gary. And I just love this one. This is one of my favorites primarily because 
what it delivers is a performance ride and style, but also a very elegant style. You know, again, Bug Eyes were always so inexpensive and cheap. Many of them were very beat up. This one has a custom leather interior with the matching piping, and then we upgraded it further. If you've been watching the videos, you might have seen this, but we put in this Everflex tan tonneau and this uh, tan cockpit trim. Then we also added uh, Nurture Reel burgundy belts to complement that. They match the piping so nicely. So uh, the top matches now. We put, we put in a locking choke assembly this week just for the, the um, Delorto carburetor that's in there. And the Speedo wasn't working so well. They never do with the five speeds. So we often will go with this GPS Speedo which we sell in our catalog. So all of these things together, plus all the sorting out that we did, um, you know, we also put on the, the tan bonnet straps. It never actually had a bonnet hold down. We dropped the tire size down to 165s. It needed new tires, but I think they're a better compromise and balance. All in all, you end up with this amazing, it's, it's I think, arena red, a 911 color, a metallic burgundy, Again, it, it sort of is derivative of the original cherry red that was used when these cars were new, but delivered at a much more modern standard. You see how beautifully it reflects the light. And it's just a knockout car. Of course, the dashboards were never painted, but the way this is executed is so beautiful. How could you complain? You know, it's, it's just such, such a striking vehicle. And one more example of the many different ways to interpret this basic platform. Every one of these cars is different. And, and in this video, if you look at Liberty and Candy, they're both radically different cars, but they both serve a particular need. And there's a strong client base for each variant here. I'll show you the underside in a second. So here's Candy's Delorto carburetor on a I think this is a 10 to 1 compression ratio, an overboard 1275 engine. Still has the original heater valve here. We, we actually, in this case, we installed the heater. It didn't have it when we got it. Aluminum radiator. It has that beautiful header, new master cylinder. And a spin on oil filter and just a very tidy car. We put in a new battery as well. But once again, you know, if you want a bug eye that goes fast and makes a great noise, this is one way to do it. It has that five speed. You can see the back plate. This one happens to be a Datsun five speed. And overall, just very excited to have been able to put out into the world another spectacular bug eye. We had this car 10 years ago and it was outstanding. And in the intervening 10 years, I think we've only gotten better and a little more sophisticated in terms of what we can produce and now it takes off again for another 10-year journey and I think that it's a product that we're all really proud of here at Bug Eye Guy.